By 1862, the Fraser River Gold Rush was petering out. News of gold in the Caribou led some of the miners north, including Englishman Billy Barker, who laid a claim on Williams Creek. Barker was crazy as a loon. Everyone knew there was no gold downriver, but he hit pay dirt. 62 ounces of gold. The word was out, and Barkerville was born. It became the commercial center of the Caribou for nearly 50 years. We are dancing girls in Caribou, and we're liked by all the men. The town had numerous hotels and saloons for miners to spend their money on liquor and women. There were few women in the Caribou, and none were more adored than the Hurdy Gurdy girls. Their going rate was a dollar a dance. After a hard night of drinking, miners could get a good breakfast at the Wake Up Jake Bakehouse and Coffee Saloon, where they could read the latest news. For a shave and a haircut, head down to the barber shop, run by William Delaney Moses, one of the first black pioneers of BC. Across the street was Barnard's Express, North America's longest stagecoach run that transported people and goods along the Caribou Road to Yale. At one end of Barkerville stood Chinatown. For a time, nearly half the town's population was Chinese. Nam Singh came searching for gold, but gave up the miner's life and sold fresh vegetables in town. At the opposite end of Barkerville was the Anglican Church with a tiny congregation of 20. Their minister, Reverend Brooks, wrote numerous letters. We have had a long cold snap here, more than 20 degrees below zero. It's a remarkable fact that two weeks of uninterrupted Barkerville drives me towards mental and moral sickness. It makes me a little sad when I visit these unsuccessful miners. They're quite alone, each in his own hut. Most won't ever get away from the caribou. There is a comfortable wooden hospital to die in. As for Billy Barker, his claims yielded over 32,000 ounces of gold, worth around $30 million today. But he lost it all, reinvesting in failed mines. He died a pauper at the age of 77. But the place that bears his name lives on as a preserved historic town.